Hello, my name is Tanya Riles. I'm the consultant for governance and management with the Vermont Department of Libraries. Our short orientation video today is on the division of duties for trustees of municipal libraries. Public libraries are governed by a board of trustees. For municipal libraries, Vermont Title 22, Chapter 3, Subchapter 3 states in part, the board shall consist of not less than five trustees who shall have full power to manage the public library, make bylaws, elect officers, establish a library policy, and receive control and manage property which shall come into the hands of the municipality by gift, purchase, device, or bequest for the use and benefit of the library. The board may appoint a director for the efficient administration and conduct of the library. While the trustees have full power to manage the library, the director provides the administration of the library. As a result, the daily operations of the library are overseen by the director. The trustees provide oversight for the director and the library as a whole. Please note that one important aspect of the trustees role is to recruit and retain a well-qualified director. Overall, the focus of the trustees is the well-being of the library, but what duties are expected of them? As a trustee, you should be familiar with laws impacting the institution, including federal, state, and local laws. You should also be familiar with your bylaws and policies. Trustees ensure that a strategic plan is in place, which the director coordinates and implements. The strategic plan requires a regular commitment from both parties to review progress, reaffirm the plan's support of the library's mission, and to update the plan. Trustees seek to ensure that the library receives adequate funding and works and work alongside the director in assisting and presenting budget proposals. It's important that each trustee understand the budget and can answer questions about it if needed. Each trustee must be ready to participate in all in all board meetings and has a duty to put aside personal agendas when making decisions. They must exercise discretion and respect confidentiality outside of meetings. Trustees should be regular library users. Whether checking out items, attending programs, or using meeting spaces, it's valuable to spend time engaging with the resources and to see how others use the library. This enables you to be a better advocate on the benefits of the library. Trustees and directors alike are welcomed and encouraged to consult with the Vermont Department of Libraries regarding the needs of their library. Trustees should be dedicated advocates for their library in a variety of ways including discussing it locally with the organizations they are involved in to advance the mission of the library and advocating for their institutions to state or local officials. They can stay current on library trends and issues by joining professional networking organizations, such as United for Libraries or the Vermont Library Association, attending trainings and conferences, and signing up for the VitLib Friends and Trustees Listserv. For more information on the Listserv, please visit the link on the screen. Trustees should acknowledge the director's need for professional training and demonstrate this through providing financial support and paid time for the director to attend trainings and conferences. Trustees should provide the director with a regular evaluation of their performance. They may also consider conducting a self-evaluation of themselves. The evaluation for the director should consider the director's overall performance. Key to this is the director's handling of daily operations which includes personnel management of volunteers and staff, collection development, budget implementation, and for some, building maintenance. The director also advises the trustees on issues impacting their institution. This includes, but is not limited to, personnel, financial, and policy needs. Typically, the director prepares or updates policies and provides policy guidance to the trustees. Policies may be created or revised because there is a need for it, there's been a change in laws at the request of the trustees, or there has been a change, I'm sorry, or in accordance with a policy renewal schedule. The trustees identify and adopt policies that govern the library, and the director then implements those policies. Thank you for watching and learning more about the division of duties for municipal library trustees. My contact information is on the screen if you need to reach out to me regarding your library.